Hi, uh, today's topic is uh, CD type 1 implementation in Informatica. So what is a CD type 1 implementation? So before that, uh, please uh, like and subscribe my channel. So a CD type 1 is like, uh, it is like insert else subdate. You can say it is a insert else subdate. So it is slowly changing dimension. SCD is slowly changing dimension. So here we have uh, different types of SCDs. So that is uh, type 1, 2, 1, 3. So type 1 is update else insert. Here we'll maintain current information. Type 2 it is like a pure history and type 3 is a parcel history. So we'll discuss about uh, type 2 and type 3 in next class. So we'll discuss today about today this uh, type 1. So this is a source table. So we have a data like this. So let me create a target table as well. Sorry. Yeah, we have a target table also. So I have created a target table as well. Just truncate this data from target. So now nothing is there in target table. In target table, so we need to create a primary key. So because updates, when we want to do updates, we need a primary key. So let's check this table. This is our target table. Yeah, we have a primary key on uh, employee ID. So it's already created. So based on employee ID, we have already created a primary key. So then only we can do updates. So now we'll create informatica mapping. So this SCD is like update else insert. So data is already exist in the target table. We will update. If it is not exist, then we'll insert. So first we need to check whether it is exist or not. Based on what condition we'll check. So using lookup transformation, we can able to find whether the record is exist, particular record is exist or not. So based on that, we'll do insert updates. See, I have a source table. So I have records like this. Assume like one double zero one employee ID. So before loading into target, we'll go and check into the target table. So using lookup transformation. So if data is already there for that particular employee ID, we will update the data. So update also we will check. Like the remaining data, if it is same or not in uh, source versus target. So if it is same, so then we no need to update. So it is already there that data. So if it is different, so source and target address is different. So then we'll do update even if it is existing data also. So if it's a new record because uh, uh, this 1006 employee, we are checking into the target. If it is not there, it is a new record. So then we'll directly insert that record. So for that reason, we need lookup transformation to find the existence. So based on the existence, we'll do insert updates. <coughs> okay, so we'll create uh, informatica mapping. SCD type. So now we need source and target. So let's import source from source analyzer. Source import from database, just give username and password. This is our source table. So similarly, we can import target as a So target is available in DWX schema, source is available in source schema. So target also we have same table, but it is in different schema. 
that's it show some target over here just drag this source table into mapping designer workspace same way we can drag this uh, target as well into mapping designer workspace So this is like source table. It is available in source schema. This is DWH. DWH, we don't have any data. We have a table structure. And we have created a table with primary key. OK, so now we need a lookup transformation to find the existence. So to need to check the data exists or not in the target table. So let's create lookup transformation. So look up in which way that it is, we are creating source or target or source collector. So now we are doing lookup on target table. This is employee lookup. So here we have an option written all values on multiple mesh. So once we enable this option, lookup will act as a active transformation. Usually then by default lookup is a passive transformation. Once we select this option, it will return all rows on multiple mesh. If you have any multiple mesh, so in that case, it will return all rows. So in that case, it will act as an active transformation. So now we don't want to act as an active transformation. No need to select that one. Just click OK. Let's actually close this session. Just open this one. Okay, it's already lost. We what we did changes. So just drag this source and target again. Look up as well. This is a look. So lookup will do based on key columns. So even uh, when we want to check in target tables, so if data is exist or not, so we cannot check all columns based on key column, we'll check. So key column is employed. We have already created a primary key and target table that is employed. So here you can see that key column symbol, that is a primary key. So then only you can able to understand what is the primary key in automatic level. This symbol you can see, this is our primary key. So then we can do updates here. So based on a key column only, we need to do lookup also. I'm taking this employee ID from source to lookup. So this is only input port for just lookup condition only. So that's what I just made it's an input. Employee ID, employee ID, that is the condition. Then we need one more transformation, that is rotor transformation. This employee ID I am taking here. So this one I am renaming as a lookup. It is coming from lookup employee ID. That's what NLKP underscore employee ID. And one more column we need that is address. So this is also LKP address I am renaming. This give underscore. So this error why it is giving is we need to create a groups in rotor transformation. We'll create later that groups. So that is from lookup. So from source, we will take all columns, whatever columns that mean from source, those all columns will take into rotor. So now we'll create two groups. One is insert. Other one is update. Is null of lookup employee ID. Then we will insert all records into the target table. 
which means these records are not available in the target table. So that's the reason we need to insert the data. Another group we need to give not is null means already exists that record not is null. Look up employee ID and look up address is not equal to source address, then we'll update those two groups. We need in router transformation, we have two groups along with that, we have one default group. So, in default group, it will go non matching data. So, target also we need to create two instances, only one target table. I'm creating two instances. Just copy and paste this target table again. So just rename this one to update. See, here you can see that lookup table is same. So the lookup table is EMP underscore LKP target table is same. But the instance the transformation name we are changing EMP LKP underscore update. This one I am changing to insert. If you have two instances like this in monitor, so once you load this data, you can able to understand like uh, how many rows it is going to insert flow, how many rows it is going to output flow. So that way you can able to understand easily. So without these two instances also, we can able to build that uh, logic. But so while loading data, we cannot able to understand like how many records inserted, how many records updated. So that's the reason we need to create these two instances in SCD type one implementation. So these two records, sorry, these two ports we don't record actually here and we don't need to map to target. So these are just for condition purpose. Like here we need only in condition level only this lookup ports we require. So these ports only we are getting it from source. So those ports we need to map to target. So insert is by default. So we don't need to give in between any transformation. So update, we need to give update shared the transformation. Just select this as a DD update. So to update this one only, we need to give primary key. If you don't have any primary key, even we use this update strategy transformation, it won't update. Okay, so that's it. So we are reading data from source table. So we are doing lookup on target table. So based on the lookup condition, lookup based on the lookup employee ID, we are checking it is is null or not is null. So it is a is null means that record is not existing in the target table. We are going to insert if not is null and lookup address and target, uh, sorry, lookup and source address is different. So in that case, we'll update. So if it is already existing record, if the source and target data is same, then no need to update. So that is the reason we added this condition and condition. So if it is a different source and target data, then only it will update. If it is the same address, it won't update. So I will explain like how it will work while we'll run this job. So I will clearly explain how it will work. So we'll create workflow and session for this one. A CD type. Okay, so now we have a front session. Just link this one. So the connections we need to give. So this is source connection. 
and this one we need to give dws so here we need two target instances so we need to give two target connections the dwh is fine it's already selected along with source and target connections we need to give lookup also whenever we are using in lookup in our transformation so in mapping level just use this source sorry dwh so we are doing lookup on target table so that's why we need to select dwh connection So now we have source and target connections we have given and lookup collection also we have given. Okay, so now we'll run our job. So first, what is the expectation? So I have source table like this. I have source six records. So first record, this is one double zero one employee ID. So it will go and check in the target table. So we don't have anything in target table. So it is checked that it's not there. So that in that case, what we'll get is null of LKP, LKP employee. So in that case, what will happen? It will insert all records into the uh, target table because we don't have anything in our target table. So first time what will happen? It will insert all the record because of not, because of not is null of lookup employee. So now we'll run and check this data. So what will happen? So now we, here we can check clearly like how many records got inserted, updated, everything. So this is source records, six records. Update is zero because we don't have anything in target table. So all records went to insert. Check in target table as well. So we have six rows in target table. So now again, if you run that job, what will happen? So again, this one double zero one employee ID will go and check in target table. It is there. What is the condition of not is null of lookup employee ID. LKP employee ID. So in that case, what will happen? It will go and update in the target table. So again, we added one more condition that is and condition that is source address and lookup address is not equal to then only it will update so but now it is same both source and target address is same so it will not do any update so now if you run this job so it will not go any records into update or insert code. so it will read from source but it will not update and insert so just try that one So you can see we have source records is six, insert update is zero. So that's what it will work. First, we need to check like whether it is the existing record or it's a new record. So based on the lookup. So once it is exists, we'll update the data. So if it is not exists, we'll insert. So in update case, we'll check one more condition. That is if source and target data is different or same. So then only we need to update. So unnecessarily if it is same, then we no need to update. So that is about slowly changing dimension type one. So we'll discuss about type two implementation. So what is type two and type three in next class? So type two is we'll maintain few history in type two. So type three is a parcel history. We'll never use type three. Most of the case we'll use type one and type two. So type two, we have again different approaches, date approach, version approach, flag approach. So that topic we'll dis discuss in next class. So please uh, like and subscribe. So if you have any doubts, just uh, mention in comments. Okay, thank you.